The first draft of the script isn't the only one that exists, and filmmakers work with a variety of ideas to try to craft the perfect story. This means that lines, scenes, or even entire sequences are retooled or cut out before the movie hits theaters. And that means the whole movie could be drastically changed. If you haven't seen part one, stay tuned for a link to it in this video. Here are Screen Rant's 10 amazing movie twists you've never seen. Part two. Army of Darkness. American audiences know Army of Darkness as the story of Ash taking on the Deadites in medieval times and then using the Necronomicon to return home to kill another possessed demon. But international viewers got a different version. Ash still beats the Deadites in the past, but is then given a potion that allows him to sleep one century for each drop he drinks. The hero misuses it and lands himself in a future apocalypse overrun by Deadites. He screams in anguish, and the film ends. It seems like a cool concept, but it's a bleak end for Ash and seems to go against the film's humorous tone. Watchmen Zack Snyder's superhero epic sees the villainous Ozymandias blowing up US and Russian cities. The Ozman blames it on Dr. Manhattan, so the two nations have a common enemy, forcing Manhattan to leave Earth for world peace. But he originally targeted Manhattan for a totally different reason. When Terry Gilliam was attached to direct, Ozymandias convinced Manhattan to go back in time and stop the accident that gave the Watchmen their powers. The decision creates a better timeline where heroes only exist in comic books. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World After defeating Ramona's seven evil exes, Scott Pilgrim can be with his newfound love. But Edgar Wright didn't always have that ending in mind. An alternate version sees Scott leaving Ramona behind to reunite with Knives. And while that was a nice touch, it undermines the crux of the narrative. After seeing all that Scott went through, audiences deserve to see him and Ramona together. It was just too bad Wright couldn't shoot his other end, which saw a news report detailing a serial killer who had murdered seven people and claimed to be in a video game. E.T. The Extraterrestrial Steven Spielberg ends his beloved film in an awe-inspiring, magical way. Elliot watches in amazement as E.T.'s ship flies back home. It's somewhat uncertain what will become of the boy, and Spielberg originally had more finality in the conclusion. The original version had Elliot reciting a monologue about the need to search for experience, before showing a scene featuring him playing with other children. It shows that Elliot moved on from E.T. afterwards, but it undercuts the sense of wonder the film is known for, and it didn't serve a real purpose in the story. Dodgeball Looking to subvert the typical underdog trope, the original ending of Dodgeball saw our heroes defeated by Globo Jim. While Ben Stiller celebrated, test audiences did not. After spending the entire film with Vince Vaughn's lovable losers, they wanted to see the gang come out on top, so a happier ending was inserted. However, the filmmakers used this as an opportunity to fit in one final gag. In a post credit scene, a fat white goodman pokes fun at the audience, saying that now they're happy because the villains lost. So this was probably a good call. Donnie Darko Donnie Darko threw audiences for a loop when at the end, the title character realized he had to die in order to correct the timeline and save his loved ones. It's a haunting moment for both the character and the viewers, and even leaves some things unanswered. While fans always just assumed Donnie met his end when the plane crashed through his room, they never saw the aftermath. But one ending treated us to that sight, including a graphic image of his dying body twitching with a pole stuck through it. We did not need that to understand the message of the film. The Town Doug McRae manages to get away from Boston and start a new life in Florida, but he almost joined his friends in death. An alternate ending for The Town saw Doug bump into Alex Colasso, who shoots him down. Does that name sound familiar? Viewers will remember Alex better as the thief Doug and his friend James beat up much earlier in the film, and nobody expected to see him again. While this cut ending gives the film an ironic edge about crime not paying, it's a tad anticlimactic, very abrupt, and a little confusing. Seeing Doug free made for a more satisfying finale. The Amazing Spider-Man We've covered this one before, but we just couldn't leave it out. Peter Parker believes his parents are dead, but in an alternate ending for Amazing Spider-Man 2, he gets a surprise visit from his very much alive father. Richard Parker gives his son some words of encouragement to help him get over Gwen Stacy's death, and move on as a renewed Spider-Man. If you lose hope, then the Osbournes of the world really have won.
Director Mark Webb eventually won with Peter being motivated by Gwen's graduation speech, which was probably the right call. Richard's sudden appearance was jarring and raised even more questions about the film's messy story. Ant-Man Ant-Man sets up the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe by showing undercover Hydra agent Mitchell Carson stealing Pym particles for an unknown purpose, but it originally wasn't that open-ended. The initial conclusion featured Scott Lang having an encounter with Carson, defeating him in a fight to reclaim the particles. That would have been a nice way to tie up loose ends and give the film some finality, but the MCU is always looking ahead, and the filmmakers wanted to save this aspect for later. Knowing them, the particles will come back later in a big way. Paranormal Activity If only the filmmakers had gone with the alternate ending, maybe horror fans would have been spared from the disappointing sequels. The theatrical version had Katie kill Micah off-camera and return to the room to show her demon face. In a different conclusion, Katie murders Micah downstairs off-camera before returning to the room and slitting her throat. There was also an ending where after killing Micah, Katie sits in the room alone for days on end before her sister comes around to investigate. After seeing Micah's body, the sister calls the cops and they shoot a knife-wielding Katie. So what do you think of our list? Which unseen twists are your favorites? Sound off in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Screen Rant videos like this one.